<laughs> oh, oh, that's even closer. Oh my God. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video I've come up to Richmond Park. I've actually been here all week running a number of one-on-one -on -one workshops which have gone really really well. Uh, I just want to say to anybody who's watching that's joined me on a workshop like it's been an absolute pleasure to have you join. I've really enjoyed it. We've had a mixed bag of conditions but um, none of them have disappointed. We've had some mist, we've had some rain, we've had some overcast days, some flat lights, some bright light like today but in today's video I've actually taken a day off no workshops today uh, and for good reason I've been chatting to a guy fellow wildlife photographer and youtuber Adam for a little while about three years now where we've been trying to meet up and we decided that um, we would use today to meet up have a bit of a shoot see what we can do have a bit of a chat and I've got a bit of a confession to make we met at 6 30 this morning and uh the plan was to shoot sunrise and make a YouTube video. It's now quarter to midday. I'm going to hold the tripod still. It's now quarter to midday and we haven't filmed a thing and we haven't taken any photos. All we've actually done is drink coffee and chat, which is no bad thing. It's been an absolute pleasure chatting to him over the last couple of hours. And whilst doing so, we've been sat in the woodland behind watching the wildlife and um, we decided it's about time to get back out in the field and see what images we can get. So I'm going to wander off now with Adam, who's just behind me. Um, we're going to see what we can find. We're hoping, whilst the light's bright like this, that we might be able to go into the woodland and find you guys some little owls, maybe work with some fallow deer in a dappled light. But um, we'll see how we get on. But all I know already, within a couple of hours spent chatting to him, drinking coffee, is it's going to be an enjoyable rest of the day. So stay tuned. So at the moment, we're just in one of the woodlands, just off the edge of Pen Ponds, and we found some fallow deer, and uh, it's really quite fun. Besides them being extremely, extremely beautiful animals, they make for really good subjects when the light's like this. So at the moment, we've got really changeable, but sometimes quite harsh light. And by coming into the woodland like this, what we're getting is we're getting some dappled light that's breaking through the trees. And what I'm trying to do is capture some spotlight images. So I'm bringing my exposure right down and uh, exposing for the highlights only and letting all the shadows and everything else fall off into the black. So I'll put an example up on the screen right now. Uh, this is an image I captured a couple of years back using this exact technique in this exact location. And uh, we're trying for that again now. And uh, it's fun because it's a challenge. And if we were out there trying to photograph the red deer at the moment, besides the fact they're all resting after a heavy morning of uh, rutting and bellowing, We'd also get quite harsh light, so uh, it's a good way to pass the time and keep ourselves busy. And hopefully, if we're lucky, we still come away with a couple of keeper images. So that was really enjoyable. Again, just like this morning, spent most of the time just chatting, but um, managed to get a couple of images. So. Whether they're any good or not, I'll still put them up on the screen now for you to have a look at. But um, it was really enjoyable just trying to capture some images in some pretty difficult light. And obviously not forgetting that awesome little squirrel encounter. So we've decided what we're going to do now is um, the light's a little bit flatter now, which is good as a bit more cloud cover. So we're going to walk to the other side of the park to see if we can find some little owls. So um, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed and uh, we'll see how we get on.
So this little owl is still perched on this, in this like wonderful little like crack in the tree. It's a little hole. Every now and again, it dives back in and uh, you think it's gonna be all over and then it comes back out there. So cheeky. But uh, if I show you the back of the camera, I've managed to get a couple of images that I'm really happy with. I think you have as well, haven't you? You managed I to get a couple. Indeed, yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this owl alone for a bit. We're gonna head off, see if we can find a different owl somewhere else, Just leave this one to it, and then um, head back across this way as the evening draws out. But what a bird. Well guys, that uh, brings us to the end of this video. I might come back out later and try and photograph some red deer at sunset, but we'll see. I'm very, very close to the van right now and I've got Whisper Golds with my name on it. So uh, yeah, Whisper Golds, we're going back out for sunset and doing another 10,000 steps. I'm, I'm not quite sure just yet, but that's been an incredible, incredible afternoon of, uh, and 10 minutes of the morning of photography. We managed to find a couple of different owls in a couple of different locations. Yeah. But I think the best part about it has been meeting up finally, mate. It's been it's an absolute- it's been, it's been on the cards for a long time, but to make it happen has been fantastic. And it's one of those kind of things as well with, um, and you guys are gonna be watching this on social media, but so often you hear, and we've talked about today, like the negative side of social media, yeah. but the big, big positives, are the and fact that- great people. Yeah, like-minded people. And it's been an absolute hoot. So for anybody who, um, doesn't know, which I'm sure you already do. Adam's got a YouTube channel, uh, is also running tours and workshops. So where's the best place for people to find your work? Uh, probably my website. So it's just adamdukes.com. Um, tours and workshops is Apex Adventures. And if you're interested in the benefit of meeting people outside as well, then check out our podcast. So I do a podcast called the Wild X Podcast, which Richard's listened to, yeah. sent in some questions to, um, and we talk about exactly this, you know, bringing all the benefits of getting out in nature and meeting like-minded people. Yeah, I, I, should, I should have mentioned the podcast first, to be honest, because it's much better than all your other stuff you <laughs> offer. But I, I, I absolutely love the podcast. It's got me through some pretty long drives and some long runs. So yeah, definitely check out the podcast, check out his work. Check out his video from today because no doubt it'll be far better than this one. I doubt it. Oh, I'm sure it will be. <laughs> but I'm going to let you go off for your evening meal. And uh, yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure, mate. It really has. I'll see you guys. Unless I go back out this evening, I'll see you all on the next video. So I decided to come back out. I think um, you've got to take these opportunities when you get them. The light. I was sat in the van having my whisper gold. And the light is just stunning. Like... All these grasses in front of me are just glowing really nicely. So I figured, let's get back out. We've got about an hour and a half until sunset. So I'm um, going to head on over to try and find some stags, but via those two little owl sites, just to see if the owls are anywhere different or if I can capture any different kind of image, or if I can capture any like different kind of image. Going to take me about 10 minutes to walk to where the first little owl was. And then, uh, there's no guarantees it'll be there, this is wildlife. But yeah, I've got about a 10 minute walk, so I'll speak to you when I get there. No little owl. I've only been here a couple of minutes, but I don't want to give it too long because I don't want to miss the light for the red deer. So if I'm not gonna build on what I already have from the owls today, then I don't really want to waste any more time. I was kind of hoping they might be on one of the lower branches, but um, actually, all of those branches are in the shade anyway. So I think 
don't know if you pick that up, you can hear the stats burning. So I think what I'm going to do, just give it like another minute or so, and then head on over to the other side of this woodland next to me and uh, get to photographing the red deer. So I actually get quite a few messages on social media uh, from people asking how and where to find these little owls in Richmond Park. And um, I thought I'd just give you like a couple of the things I've learned, a couple of like my top tips for how to find these guys. And uh, the first one is luck. With wildlife photography, as you already know, a huge, huge part of it you have to put down to luck. So, what I mean by that is yesterday morning, I was walking with the workshop participant up the road and in front of us, just before it got light, a little owl just darted across the road and we were able to track it with our eyes to the tree that it landed in and then wait long enough for it to get light enough for us to get some images of it. I say us, for them to get some images of it. The other way is by listening out for them. So if you get to the park early enough in the morning, before the parakeets and the jackdaws wake up, one of the only bird calls you'll hear in the park is that of the little owl. And it's a really distinctive sound. And you hear it all over the place in this park. So if you can hear where the sound's coming from and it's still dark, just take yourself to the edge of the woodland where you can hear them and just sit and wait for it to get a little bit lighter and keep your eye out for that movement. Now the final way I like to spot these guys and I did exactly this today with Adam, is just sit and wait. So I take myself to a location where I've seen them before or heard them before, like that location today, and uh, I just sit and I wait. And eventually, they're gonna move. They're gonna go to a different branch or fly across the path to a different tree or maybe even land on the ground to get some food. So a common misconception because of the owls is people assume that they won't be out during the day. That isn't the case with little owls. So it's worth looking up when you're in the park and it's worth keeping your ears open for them because they love nothing more than being sat on these old oak tree branches sunning themselves during the day and having a bit of a snooze and every now and again they have a wing stretch or a little stretch or change position so um yeah if it's the middle of the day and you've been photographing deer all morning and you'd like to find some little owls just head into one of these woodlands just sit and wait for a while and if you see something flying unlike anything you've seen before like a little tennis ball with wings, could well be a little owl. So um, track it, keep your eye on it, use a pair of binoculars. We were fortunate enough today that Adam had his binoculars and um, you should get yourself a little owl. I wish I could say to you, go to this tree at this time and you'll get them. But as 10 minutes ago has proved, they move. Um, that little owl is no longer where we saw it earlier on today. And I come here each year same time of year and they're always in different trees so it's not quite that easy but if you put in a bit of time and luck's on your side you'll get them right this light is lovely so i just need to find myself a conforming stag and uh hopefully we can start shooting managed to find not the biggest stag but size isn't everything and he's on his own there's one about you can probably hear it there's one bellowing away about I don't know 400 yards away maybe um, but there's just loads and loads and loads of people around him it's a Saturday it's an exciting thing to see we're all here for the same reason but um, I'd rather not add to that so I'm just going to photograph this guy. He's not done any bellowing. He's eating. He's not huge, but the light's nice and we're not going to have it for long. So I'd rather try and bag an image uh, than, yeah, keep searching for a bigger stag. So we'll see how we get on.
so I actually decided to uh, boycott photographing the deer yet again um, because I've seen a couple of stone chats and oh Oh, oh, that's even closer. Oh my gosh. Oh, so the light's amazing, but these stone chats, they keep landing on this one. Uh, I don't know whether it's a bit of like old ragwort. Who cares? They keep landing on it. So I'm framing up different compositions. Yeah, stone chats and little owls have been the focus of today's video, but the plan really was a uh, red deer. What an evening. So the light has pretty much gone now. It's, uh, it's a little bank of cloud just above the trees and it's gone behind there. And I think that's a sign for me just to uh, quit what's on my head because I do feel ahead because those stone chats that was just uh, an added bonus. I don't think I've photographed stone chats for a good few years. I remember I used to photograph them a lot when I first started photography over in Jersey. And uh, I forgot really until about 20 minutes ago what an incredible bird they are. So um, that was a bonus and I'll pop the pictures up on the screen. But uh, nothing out of this world. But it was just really, really fun. The red deer is still bellowing away, but all of the field has uh, fallen into shade and uh, yeah I don't feel like I'm going to be able to add to what's already been an incredible day so I think I'm actually going to end the video here in fact I know I'm going to end the video here and I mean it this time so uh, just as I mentioned earlier make sure you check out Adam's work uh, his video from today as well he's a really good photographer makes really really good videos and he puts a lot of time and effort into it as well so Kind of really respect that um i'm gonna start my walk back to the van a couple of things i actually wanted to mention quickly uh thank you to everybody who subscribed recently and has come on workshops and has signed up to my tours i'm not the best when it comes to self-promotion and uh i have quite a few people that reach out to me saying oh we never knew you did workshops we never knew you ran tours so um i do and if you're interested in seeing what workshops and tours that I offer, I'll put my website somewhere on the screen now. You can head over to that and you can also sign up to my mailing list every now and again. I send emails out just updating people with what workshops I've got going on, what the dates are going to be for the next season, etc, etc. So I'll leave that there. I also, and you may well have noticed in this video, I've had a bit of a change. I've gone for uh, the old shaved head. Um, I did that a few weeks ago now to raise money for uh, a cancer charity for uh, children who have gone through conditions like cancer alopecia or are going through that. I donated the hair itself so that wigs could be made um, for children who are, are going through cancer treatment and have lost their hair. And I also did a run around the island of Jersey to try and raise as much money as possible to donate with that hair so all the costs of making the wig and some of the treatment for these children would be covered as well so that's why there are no long locks anymore but it's still the same old me which some of you might be disappointed by but just with much much shorter hair so uh thought i'd kind of clear that up and the final thing today is saturday on monday i'm going to be heading up to the lake district just me Fergus the dog and the camper van to do a little bit of photography a little bit of fell running and then up to the Scottish Highlands to hopefully photograph the red deer rut up there and then over to the Isle of Mull so I've got loads and loads of videos planned I know I said it before but uh, sometimes it can be tough making content in wildlife photography your subjects don't always play ball and I have so many videos that I've filmed where I've done all the walking and the talking and then the subject doesn't appear and uh, there's only so many videos like, like that that I can release before you guys get bored of never actually seeing any wildlife. 
So unfortunately, I have the best of intentions every time I go out, but it doesn't always work out like that. So I don't get to release as many videos as I'd like to the channel, but I'm feeling confident about this trip. So Lake District, Scottish Highlands on the West Coast, and then over to the Isle of Mull. So if you're not already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And for everyone who's already subscribed, I appreciate you. Thank you very much for your support. And I'll see you on the next video.